Um... Hello. Weird lighting. Who cares? It's a vlog. Well, we do care about lighting in the vlogs as well, but mm, not as much. So I want to start off this vlog like telling you about my ideas. Um, so I've been wanting to start doing more vlogs for a while now, and something keeps getting in the way of them um mostly myself and my this is just not good enough um philosophy of life <laughs> i kind of started this process like last year but then i didn't really do anything about it so yeah um, so I sent out some like feelers again uh, asking booktubers to recommend me books you know if they wanted to because as much as I would like to just pick up any book and say this is the vlog of the day or week or whatever I kind of want to have some other theme to them than just like um, this is a mythical fairy exploration reading vlog or whatever. So I thought that while I'll do my whatever book <laughs> or series or whatever I want to read and make a vlog out of it, if if I feel it's vloggable or, you know, <laughs> I actually remember to pick up the camera, I thought to, you know, also recommend other booktubers to the world to well whoever watches my videos really uh to just go and meet some other booktubers as well i thought you know let's ask the booktubers they can recommend me some books and i can read those books and then recommend the booktubers to other people could be doable 
So I got some responses. It was so great. The response was more than I had actually hoped for. So, so I'm very, very grateful to everyone that's responded so far. And I am very much looking forward to going through uh, all your recommendations and, you know, picking up as many books as I possibly can. The only thing I really asked for as far as the recommendation was that either it's their favourites and they really really want other people to read them too or they just think I should read them for, for whatever reason. I mean I'm very easy going when it comes to that. I will read pretty much anything you put in front of me so yeah. That's that can also come and bite me in the ass. I feel later on in uh, this little series that I'm kind of doing. So while I get into this uh, package here, I'm going to send you over to Chatty's video. Hi, Shelley. I'm very excited to recommend books to you, um, and I hope you consider this one. So I feel it needs more love than it gets. In, it is very well loved in the area of the book community that I am in but when you go into a bookshop there's only one copy of it there should be stacks it should be highlighted that more people should read it and that is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend this book is adorable you want to step into the world you want to be there um it's set in kind of two worlds so you have the kind of like the normal world but it's not our world and it's not that normal there's wonderful things like this clock that changes color to tell you the time and the years um but then you have nevermore which is this wonderful magical whimsical world um for people that are really talented and special and it's just so much fun and then within Nevermore you have this super duper school called the Wonder Society where they take the best of the best and there are trials to see who can get in there. The protagonist is Morrigan Crow, and she is wonderful. You know sometimes you get protagonists where they're great for kind of taking the story there but they're never your favourite character. Morrigan is so delightful. She's feisty, she's fun, she's really caring and adorable and I just love it. There's so many things in here that I love. There's so many things I want to do. Like I want to do some brolly jumping. I want to go to the different places they go to in here. So there's also a kind of a darkness threat as well. There is tension. There is fantastic side characters, potential friendships, characters you want to hate. It's got everything and you should read it. Can't wait to hear what you think. You have to love it. You have to love it. Bye. Tom is very fond of the box now. So as you just saw, uh, Chatty recommended me the first book in the Nevermore series. And um, I thought to myself, yeah, this, uh, don't I have this on my Amazon wish list? <laughs> yes, yes I did. Uh, but me being me and me being extra, I got the box set of the first three books. <laughs> so, in this vlog, I shall be reading the first three books. Let's get into the plastic here. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna guess they are in the correct order. Otherwise, someone's made a little uh, boo boo. So we have the first book, which is The Trials of Morrigan's. Crow. And um, we have the second book which is The Calling of Morrigan Crow. And we have the third book which is The Hunt for Morrigan Crow. So uh, yeah. This is going to be super exciting. Well it's going to be super exciting for me. If you are not a fan of middle grade books you might not enjoy this as much as I am. Um, oh I just saw it's a giant cat on this one. So yes oh yes 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 this is gonna be awesome
it's a very weird angle but let's go for it so i have made it about a little more than halfway through initial thoughts i was gonna do a like recap after the first couple of chapters but i just got sucked in so initially we start off with morrigan she's basically this very cursed child who is blamed for everything that goes wrong she's not the only one she's like on the register for cursed children so she's among other children who is cursed as it were <laughs> and is blamed for bad things happening really and and then there's this bidding day which is basically um where kids like get to know where like what school they're gonna go to really essentially um but also because she's cursed there's this thing that says on her birthday, on her 11th birthday, she's going to die. <laughs> so, I mean, she doesn't really have a future, does she? But then, you know, this dude shows up and he's like, yeah, you're not going to die. You're not. I'm just going to take you away from here. And she's like, OK, then. Essentially, he kidnaps her um, and she's just totally fine with it. <laughs> I mean, coming from the family she's lived with, I mean, I would too go with like a random stranger that just goes like, nah, you're not gonna die today, just wanna go for a ride? Sure! Because <laughs> why not? Um, I mean, it turns out he's not like a creepy dude, he's actually a nice guy, so um, he saves her, <laughs> really. <laughs> But then he takes her to this other place, which is Nevermore, which is um, which is a place she hasn't heard of before because it's outside of like the general area. I don't. I'm not really sure how to explain the like the states, the countries. I'm, I'm not really sure about how to explain that, but basically Nevermore is outside of all that. And uh, so she's never heard of it. But she learns a lot and uh, she like moves into this hotel with him because he lives in a hotel. He owns a, owns a, runs a hotel. He does other things too though, but she moves into this weird hotel, which is basically alive. Um, and yeah, it's adventures <laughs> and challenges as, as, as and all that. Um, I'm having the best time, really. I'm so glad that Chatty said to read this book and I was like, yeah, let's do it now. Um, I did have it on my Amazon wish list, uh, which means I have it on my list of books to get eventually. Um, but, um... Yeah, I just needed that push because my list of books that I want to get is very, 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 very long. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's, it's a very, very long list. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. tries to eat my hair apparently do you have to eat my hair don't eat my hair don't put your tongue in my mouth either 
Thank you. Ow! I know. Um, where did I leave off? I don't know. I kind of just got stuck into reading and just like, zoom, and uh, forgot to pick up the camera. So let's try to do a sort of a wrap up while, uh, you know, Tom eats my hair. Stop, stop eating my hair. And uh, yeah. So, um, first one the Transamerican Crow. Dude, stop. You really don't need to wash my hair because it's already been washed, okay? Yeah, cool. Um, what was I going to say about this? Dude, you've, you've already, like, you've already confused me. So, first book. So much fun. Honestly, the fact that, you know, it's like, it doesn't pop up more than it like already does. Yes, I highly agree with Chatty there that it needs to be like more spread out. More people need to read this book and you know, talk about it more. Um, yeah, so much fun. So, straight on to book number two, which is uh, Wondersmith, The Calling of Morrigan Crow. So, <sighs> Okay, he was done, apparently. So in the first one we see Morgan, she she like gets kidnapped, like willingly, and then she goes through trials to get into this uh, special school, special society, special school, whichever. Technically they're both the same thing. Um, and I mean, spoiler, she does get in, uh, but not like <laughs> very easily. And uh, the trials are like so much fun. It is a bit like the, like they do compare it to a Harry Potter-esque adventure. And yes, I can kind of see it. It's like the, um, in the Goblet of Fire when Harry goes through these trials. Um, basically that. But more different and kind of more fun and also I think just maybe one of them you didn't actually know it was a trial until it was a trial <laughs> which was fun um, so although it's middle grade it's not like you're just guessing the plot like you can usually do with like middle grade and YA books and Yes, you do like guess some of it because that's just the nature of it. But there's so many twists around the corner. It's like chef's kiss. So in, in the second book, uh, The Calling of Morgan Crow, um, she is in the school and she's about to like learn how to control and use her power and uh, like I want to say like what her power is for but also not really so uh, there's like two types of what are they called there's like two types of schools in the school um, so there's the I want to I want to know does this say so one is the let's see if I can find it because I have definitely forgotten Anyway, so there's, <laughs> there's like two types of schools in the same school, which I cannot name right now because I have forgotten that's terrible of me. However, so one of the schools is like for the, let's say normal magic, and then the other one is for more like advanced magic. So it depends on like what kind of magic you have which everyone has like different kinds of powers so um yeah they're kind of split in that way but more again she technically doesn't really belong with either because she's a special one she's like the only one well there is the baddie in the story i guess so she technically doesn't really belong with either and she gets like, so there's like two headmistresses 
why can't I say certain words without putting more S's on them? So there's like two headmistress sisters, sisters. Why? <laughs> and um she gets kind of put in the like the normal school and then uh, that headmistress is like, well, no, you're not going to learn any of these things. You're just going to learn how bad it is to be a wondersmith, which is what she is. And basically, they're just hindering her of learning and all that jazz. I mean, technically, there's no teacher to teach her how to use her power except for the bad guy and I mean he does try to like blackmail her into agreeing to teach her but yeah no that doesn't happen <clears throat> so yeah basically they're trying to hinder her from learning this so-called bad magic but because of the nature of the book and the series as a whole um you know it's gonna be it's gonna be like a happier ending kind of a deal so adventures happen she succeeds because you know there's a third book uh so you know she doesn't die <laughs> which which could technically happen holopox the hunt for morrigan crow so when i started reading this one I was not in the mood to read it, let's say that. Um, so this went a bit slower, but once I like read the first couple of like 50 pages or so, I was like, yes, I am into this again. Um, let's roll with the flow. I mean, that can happen when I like binge series, which I kind of did here. So anyway. What happens in this one? So, spoiler. She actually gets to be taught her actual craft. But yeah, since there are no teachers who actually know how to use her power, um, the way she's being taught is a bit unique, let's say. So there, it's a lot of fun though. Um, but in this one there comes this disease so there are in this world there are um, animals so there's animals and then there's like animals with human traits and then humans with animal traits it's a complex anyway the ones that are like human-esque animals animals humans those people um, there's a word for it but won't make any sense if you haven't actually read the book so the human animal animal humans they all get this holopox disease going around which technically makes um the animalistic side of them come out so they lose all their like human traits and uh, the animals in them come out which if you're like say a leopard yeah, that's uh, that's dangerous stuff, dude. Um, so there's a lot of that going on. So Morgan kind of figures out that she can actually undo this curse, this pox that's going on. So basically, we go through her learning more of her craft, and then um, also like her trying to figure out how she's going to use her abilities to um, end this holopox. Um, that's basically the book. Well, the first two were a lot more like exciting because we were just coming into the world and everything's new, shiny and new and all that. So in the third one, we know a lot more about the world. Uh, so it's a lot more... Everything has its like ground to stand on let's say um so it wasn't although i very much enjoyed it out of the three i i've read so far that are out um it wasn't my fave but it was still very exciting <laughs> so saying all that these three books um there's a fourth one coming out but there are mixed 
um, mixed dates on that. It's either October 2022 or October 2023, whichever the whichever date it is, I will be picking up the fourth book when I can get my hands on it because I am into this world. And yes, thank you Chatty for recommending me, well, this book technically, and uh, me being me, just, uh, you know, went a bit extra. <laughs> Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope it was whatever. And uh, I shall see you all next time. Bye.